Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in verse 125 of Surah An-Nisa, And who is better in faith than those who fully submit themselves to Allah, do good and follow the way of Ibrahim the upright? Allah chose Ibrahim as a close friend. Who has the right to define the true religion and the good religion? What is the truth upon which the heavens and the earth are based? What is the meaning of surrendering completely to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And what is the reality of humanity today in terms of surrendering completely to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Allah the Almighty has made for us a way of life that is according to our fitrah or natural disposition. It is the only path that it is accepted by him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Man submits to Allah alone, the creator of heavens and the earth, and the creator of everything. He gives the right to the rightful person, glory be to him, the Lord of the world. So man submitted to him and turned to him in worship and submitted to his commands and prohibitions, and thus lived an optimized life performing his duty to the deserving one without associating any partners with him. All of Allah's messengers, peace be upon them, came with one call and one message. O oh my people, worship Allah, you have no other deity but him. The truth upon which the heavens and the earth were established is that submission, obedience, and following belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, no system, law, or religion other than the religion of Allah has the right to govern life on earth. The mission of all messengers, peace be upon them, and those who came after them requires that they establish the religion of Allah on earth. This is the one true religion, and anything other than this religion is falsehood and injustice, and confusion in the darkness of shirk and false gods. This is the religion of those whose hearts and minds are connected to their Creator and are sincere to Him. Those whose acts of worship are in accordance with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated must turn away from associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and follow the faith of Abraham the upright who was never one of the polytheists. Submission of oneself to Allah is a metaphor for complete obedience and a true servitude to Allah. If they argue with you, say, I have submitted myself to Allah, and so have those who follow me. It is represented in believing in the divinity and lordship of Allah alone, without a partner, submitting rituals to Him alone and submitting and adhering to His upright law in all aspects of life. Thus, Allah's religion becomes a realistic way of life from which emerges a system, values, balances, behaviors, etiquettes, morals, dealings, relationships, acts of worship, and rituals. Allah's religion was never merely a matter of claims, slogan, and names. Religion has never been about establishing some rituals in isolation from the rest of human activity whether on the individual or collective level. Allah says to his prophet, my prayers, my offering, my life and my death are all for Allah, the Lord of the world. He has no partner and I have been commanded to follow this creed and I am the first of those who submit to Allah. The wisdom is obedience to Allah, sincere servitude to him, following what he has legislated in terms of religion and disavowing every law other than the law of Allah Almighty. The Almighty says, Have you not seen those who claim to have believed in what was revealed to you, 
and what was revealed before you. They wished to refer legislation to Tagut while they were commanded to reject it. And Satan wishes to lead them far astray. So, where are we in regards to the complete submission to Allah mentioned in the Noble Verse? Have we actually achieved it or is it just a claim? Have we submitted to Allah with sincerity, submitted to Him and obeyed Him without a partner on the doctrine of monotheism? Questions raised by this narrative in the Noble Verse. Let us think, then we will discover the path of Allah and the light of Allah, so we emerge from the darkness into the light, in this world and in the afterlife. Allah says, whoever surrenders himself to Allah and lives righteously, grasps the most firm handle. The ultimate decision of all matters rests with Allah. O people, we are coming to you with one call, one word. It is the word that all messengers came with. Worship Allah, you have no other deity but Him. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ دِينًا مِّنْ مَنْ أَسْلَمَ وَجْهَهُ لِلَّهِ وَهُوَ مُحْسِنٌ وَاتَّبَعَ مِلَّةَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ حَنِيفًا وَاتَّخَذَ اللَّهُ إِبْرَاهِيمَ خَلِيلًا